Ryan, you, you've said <laughs> traders and investors have to watch very carefully because they can turn yeah. on a dime. Well, we know markets have turned on a dime, but the question is, how do our viewers remain agile while still doing their regular job, not being traders? Yeah, well, Sarge, I'm gonna disagree with you respectfully here, but I mean, the bottom line is it's impossible to trade this market because if you miss that move over the last you know, two months, as, you know, the Dow Jones up 20%, you don't get that back, Liz. You know, I think the, the key this year is diversification is going to save your financial soul, if I could put it that way. Because, you know, if you look at this, your value stocks are almost positive for the year. Uh, the U.K. market is actually going positive for the year. Latin America is positive for the year. Commodities are up this year. So I think the key here is to be diversified. If you were just sitting in a concentrated growth portfolio, like most investors are, you've got your head handed to you. But if you're diversified, you're only down less than 10 percent this year. That's not that bad, and you didn't have to figure out when to be in and out of the market. And it's, you just touched on Latin America. How do our investors dip into that? Yeah, you can buy the index, the Latin America 40, which gives you the top 40 companies in Latin America right now. They've got everything working in their favor. They're commodity exporters. We know commodities are huge demand around the world. China's not even reopened yet, Liz. When China reopens, that's going to be a huge boon for their economies. And they're actually starting to actually lower their interest rates as opposed to tighten. In fact, if you look at like Brazil, went from 2 to 14 percent. They're starting to actually ease off uh, the gas pedal, which is going to be very good for their economy as well. And they also have the advantage of what we call like nearshoring. Instead of going to China to import our goods, we're actually starting to go to Mexico. So all of that's boding really well for their economy. Still trade dirt cheap here. And I don't have to worry about, you know, if I'm going to get a yield to lunch. You know, I can own that for a long time here <laughs> and, uh, you know, hopefully make out well here. All, all due respect there, Sarge. Yeah, well, Ryan's, uh, Ryan's <laughs> working with the do we all need to become traders like stat <laughs> really quickly. Neither of you guys has mentioned bonds. Uh, I'm looking at the 10-year the yield, 3.51%. More interestingly, the two-year, 4.35%. Yes. You, you talked about diversification. That's an old tune, but... Yeah. Come on, where are your bonds? I've got a lot of bonds here, too. I mean, we have the best rates in, like, over a decade. So you can lock into real bond yields now. They're not at abysmal levels anymore. And yeah. I'll just make one point here. It's not a foregone conclusion we're going into a recession. Mm -hmm. You know, the fact we had a good jobs number right. and inflation on the ground floor is going down, we could actually have a soft landing. I'm probably one of the only people saying that, but I think that's a reality here.